be relying on hustle. You know what I mean? Okay. So we moved like two hours away down in Maryland from Delaware. <clears throat> so we moved down there. I got with a temp agency. The temp agency sent me to work. You know what I mean? Then she was going by the union one day, plumbers union. She said, you know, they're hiring for like $17 an hour for apprentices. I said, oh, well, sign me up for that. I said, shit, I'm sitting around this motherfucker making $7 an hour. I said, yeah, I need you, some of that. Yeah, where you came from, and where, where you came from, that's, making that's a dollar. That's I got my foot in the door. <laughs> right. <laughs> making a dollar. So, Look, at, 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 I, I, I want to ask you this right quick, and I, and don't take this the wrong way, my G, because, you know, it's only a very please. few it's only very few people that I come across that, that you know, that did bids and all like that. But during your, well, you know what, I, I, well, I wouldn't say my, my, my cousin, he, he did hard time or anything like that. But in prison, do they make y'all work or do y'all or do you guys uh, uh, volunteer to work for whatever the amount? No, it was that one of them. Offer? It was one of the prisons. Uh, it was one of the prisons where you volunteer to work. Oh, OK, if you don't want to work. Then you stay in a certain part of the prison. Okay. Guys that work, they, they stay in another part of the prison. Mm-hmm. You know what I mean? There was motherfuckers like me. I just did my time. Like I ain't with all that working and slaving around. Oh, uh, okay. You just want to just leave, uh, leave you alone. Cent an hour. I think it was like ten cent an hour. What? Like, I'm not doing that. Yeah, we were. I'm not doing that. Uh, it was. It's that I, bad, I was, man. They. They. I mean, from. I. I thought they would give you like a dollar. I, well, at least I heard. No, no, no. It's, no. it's yeah, a month. You get like I think it's like. Forty to fifty dollars a month. Do you it actually like that? Do you see the money, or do it go into your commissary? It goes. It goes into your commissary money. Oh, okay, goes, so, so you, you can spend it on. So yeah. you technically don't don't touch or see the money at all. No, it just goes on what's called being on your books. You oh, know okay. what I mean? Okay. So you can you can send it out if you need to send it out to somebody. You can write a money order. Uh-huh. It's like your own little prison prison bank account. You know what I mean? Right. Like, if you need to send a money order out to your family or something, you can do that with it. But you're talking about 30, 40 bucks a month. Like, but, you're not really, you're going you're gonna to use that money to eat with. But you what know about, what I mean? But what about if you, what, wait a minute, hold on, eat? Oh, okay, let me ask the first question. But what about, okay, so let's say you did do the work. You earned the money. Mm-hmm. It built up in your commissary. Right. When it comes time for your for your freedom, do that money comes with you or do they keep the money? Yeah, yeah, you, yeah, you can take that money with you. Oh, okay. Yeah, that's okay, why that's they originally for- started it for guys that didn't have anything and they were about to get out uh-huh. and they needed some cash. You know what I mean? They needed some money or whatever. And then um, it, you'll be able to save it up and take that money with you oh, when okay. you got out. Okay, that was my first question. Now, my second question, you was about to say something about uh, buying food and all like that. What, what what kind of food I'm buying in prison, man? Because I thought you guys only eat three times a day. No, well, you can. But if you got commissary, you rather eat your commissary than eat than eat those three meals a day. Like they got noodles, cookies, uh, you know what I mean? Tuna. You can buy. You got to buy it all in the packs, though. So. Uh. Tuna fish, uh, uh, salmon, all kinds of crap. You know what I mean? We mix it all up together, but heated up noodles and cheese. We right. call it tuna. Right. And you know what I mean? And stuff like that. But you, yeah, that was all my 20s doing that stuff. Man, what did you, what, what, what did you do to the, the, the land in prison, if I, if, if I may ask? Oh, man, I thought I was going to be a big time drug dealer, bro. You <laughs> couldn't tell me nothing back then. I thought I was going to be, I thought I was going to be the man. I Like, if I fucked up, did a year, I was like, I'm going to do it better next time I get out. Oh, okay. Oh, next time I'm going to do it better than the last time I did it. Yeah, every, every time I got my ass right back locked up again. Was it, was so, it, was, was it because somebody, was it because somebody uh, snitched on you or, 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 yeah, cop, or not, undercover well, the cop, first time, undercover cop kind of, yeah, kind of got you or what? 94, I did it to myself. Um, I got myself locked up because I was slipping, stayed up all night drinking, and decided I wanted to go sit on the block and forgot that I had a pocket full of coke on me. Okay. First time I did it on my own. Second time I shot somebody. So 
I had to do two years for that. Okay. Um, the third time I went, I was part of a big investigation. Drug bust. They kicked my. They kicked was down my wife. She was my girlfriend then. Mm -hmm. Kicked her door in. All of us got locked up. I took all the charges so they could get out. You know what I mean? So she could take care. Of it. Yeah, take care of your I kids. I took all the charges and I did three years for that. Then the last time, which was my last time going in, I was fucking around with this white girl, man, and we was moving, doing our thing, and she was hot as far. I mean, they wanted her ass. Like, they weren't even thinking about me. Like, they got me as a bonus being in the car. <laughs> they was like, oh, shit. Oh, shit. Is you, 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 you said you was the <laughs> bonus, huh? Yeah, I was the bonus when they got her ass. <laughs> okay, okay. So she, had, she ended up. She ended up taking the charges. She took all the charges and was like, Chris, you need to go ahead out there and take care of your kids and right. leave this life alone. Now, when I told you I was still on the block when the young buck said that to me, right. it hadn't all kicked in yet. Like, it takes time to get out of that mind frame right. of living, living on your own terms, doing what you want to do, and having money in your pocket all the time mm -hmm. to just live in paycheck to paycheck. Okay. Like, it takes time to come out of one mind frame into another. You know what I mean? So, so I how, knew to get out of the streets. Mm -hmm. huh? how, how, was, how was the mind frame of coming out of, you know, you, uh, 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 coming out of prison, you know, for a person that's coming out of prison that was so used to, you know, like you said, making all that money, you know, living, living the way you was living, you know, living free and everything. But now... You came out of prison. You turned your life around, and now you 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 are a nine to fiver. What's what was it's, the it's what, what was the what was it's the stressful. yeah what was the um yeah. what 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 was the mindset on that? It was stressful, bro. I'm not even gonna lie to you. Like I had kids to provide for now. Mm -hmm. My wife worked, but we we have six kids. All all my kids are by her, mm -hmm. so. She was always pregnant, so she would be working and she lose her job because she was pregnant and shit like that. So I had to figure out what to do with myself because I never did anything. Right. Like, I never worked. Never. Right. Like, I refused to punch a clock. Like, I'm not working for, I was on that, I'm not working for the white man shit. Mm -hmm. I was one of them type people. Mm -hmm. So to actually have to turn around and now have to go on these job sites and have to deal with people who normally I would never even talk to. I have to deal with people who saying, you know how white men, they're passive aggressive. You know what I mean? They're passive aggressive. They talk shit, but they don't really talk shit. It's like, you know what I mean? It's something that I probably would have went to jail for if I was still on the street. Right. You know what I mean? You talk is slick, but you wouldn't say that if we wouldn't at work. You know what I mean? So the balance of power is in a way where you got to take a lot of shit in order to feed your family right exactly you know what i mean so i had to take i had to take a lot and that drove that i ended up having high blood pressure because of that okay like i had times too where i just wanted to fucking lose it at work anxiety like, you know what i mean because i just yeah i just was not used to white people talking to me like that mm -hmm. and i couldn't take it you know what i mean but i had to take it because i had a family to take care of now and i was making good money yeah we wouldn't live in like I was living when I was hustling, but I was paying all the bills. We already had two cars that were paid for. So mm -hmm. I kind of came in the game with a little bit of a head start. Mm -hmm. You know what I mean? My cars were paid for and everything, so I didn't have any car notes. All I had to do was make rent and pay electric, cable, you know what I mean? A simple phone bill or whatever. So that was easy to do with the seven to $800 I was getting paid every week. Okay. But okay. then it came to a point after five or six years, for seven eight hundred dollars a week wasn't enough. Right. So right. that's when I, I I got a job with this other company across the bridge. We call it across the bridge in Baltimore. Mm -hmm. Baltimore is on the other side of the bridge, fifty miles away. Right. So I told her I'm gonna have to go become a pipe layer for money. So I ended up surviving the trial of working with all these Mexicans. Because when you work with them, them they're gonna work the shit out of you. Right. Because they don't want you working with them. You know what I mean? Mm. They think you're black because you, they think you're lazy. Yeah, they think you're lazy. They knew I knew what I was doing because I was already a licensed plumber. Mm -hmm. Pipe fitter, you know what I mean? 
So they know I knew I knew about Mike and shit. But they wanted to know, was I just another lazy nigga? You know mm. what I mean? Mm. So once I showed them that I, I could get down, I get down just like they get down, I earned their respect. Okay. So he put me in charge of them because they don't speak English. I was able to tell them what to do, what I needed them to do, and all this shit. You know what I mean? They could just go on, do their jobs, and I just check up on them. Well, that made me almost like a foreman. I became like, like a white hat foreman. So I was making like a little over $1,000 a week. So, but you know what I mean? Your kids are getting older. They're becoming teenagers now. Like time, time started flying by for me. People right. were like, oh man, Chris, I'm so proud of you. You're working. You're doing your thing. I was like, yeah, like 10 years. They just went by just like that. So hadn't you, been in trouble. So you haven't been, so you huh? haven't, so you haven't been in trouble. You know, like you said, 10 years flew. Uh, right. you know the years. You know when you don't when you don't think about it, it'll be. It, when you don't think about it, the years will be like, be like, whoa, where the fuck it went? Right, they go right by. You, uh, you live in paycheck to paycheck. Right. Yeah. So when you when when you came into when when you came into trucking, you know, and you know, in the beginning of, the, of our conversation, you were saying that you tried at several different trucking companies. What was what was what was the experience? You know, like you said, you mentioned Swift, you mentioned Prime, you mentioned all these companies yeah, that they, didn't even that didn't even give you give you a chance. No, they didn't. Well, what thing is, I was told you I was watching people's videos, mm -hmm. so I seen Lotion and them. So I said, "Oh, well, let me try Prime. That seems like they having fun over there." Right. So I ain't no shit. You know what I mean? That's <laughs> so crazy. I tried because that. I seen I seen all so, these videos in the beginning with all these YouTubers coming over to Prime, and you see them all happy. Right. And, you know, we doing this over here at yeah. Prime and all like that, and then come to find out, those same YouTubers ain't even there no more. The fuck? No. I thought y'all so, was happy. So then, <laughs> now, then I seen uh, what's the other guy, man? I can't think of his name right now, but I tried Swift because of him. So Swift didn't take me. I'm like, they hire anybody. I was like, what the hell? I can't get in with Swift. Mm. So <laughs> then I was watching this young lady one night. Mm -hmm. And I was like, she she was with Steven. Her okay. name was, uh, Jay uh, Rich. what is her damn name? <laughs> yeah, I can't think of her damn name now. No, Skippy, think... Skippy D. Yeah, it's Skimpy, Skimpy it's D, Skimp, you know? Skimp D. Yeah. yeah, yeah, Skip D. So I was watching her video, mm -hmm. and she was telling the truth. Like, you're going to have long days. You're going to be out there drop, practicing parking all day, all night, getting back in your room. Like, she told me what was really going to happen when I go to these training schools. Right. So I, I had my aunt down in Georgia, so I up my, old, I up my whole family from Maryland uh -huh. to go to Georgia. I told my aunt, I said, give me three months, and I'm good. She said, Chris, I know you. When you put your mind to something, do it. I'm so proud of you. You turned your life around, blah, blah, So she was willing to help me out. You know what I mean? So she had two houses, and she let us live in one of the houses. So I told her, all I need is three months. I'm not trying to live in your house. And, you know what I mean? Like that. So I called Stevens, and Stevens told me to come on down to Georgia. They had a... Uh, a driving place called uh, in Columbia, Georgia, I think it's called Columbus, Georgia, Columbus, Georgia, right by Alabama. And I went to that driving school, got my license, and then went to, flew out to Texas to go to Stevens. And then that, that was that was how I ended up where I'm at now, which I ended up quitting Stevens because they talked me into getting onto the damn uh, lease program. I was like, the hell with that. All right, so but Stevens. So out of all the companies that you uh that you that you tried out for, Stevens was the one that mm -hmm. gave you the opportunity. So when you came in yeah, through the he was the one that when when you came in through the door with hold on. With Stevens. When you came in through the door, uh you you, you told the recruiter everything about you. What did the what if you can remember, what what did what was the conversation between you and the and the recruiter? Well, the recruiter was like, since I got my uh, permit in Georgia, mm -hmm. they only did a Georgia search, a background check in Georgia. Oh, okay. Well, oh. I didn't have any. I didn't have a record in Georgia. Oh, okay. You know what I mean? So okay. when they look up, they look up where your license is from. Okay. So they didn't look up Delaware. They, if it was Delaware, they never would have hired me. 
for me. Right. <laughs> right. They, looked, they looked it up in, they looked, because they looked it up in Georgia. They was like, oh, well, you're good. You don't have any felonies or, or whatever. I was like, oh, yeah, well, all right, whatever. Uh, <laughs> they they hung me on. <laughs> what they don't, what they don't know, you don't tell. Yeah, exactly, exactly. So when I ended up quitting Stevenson a year later, the woman from Martin that recruited me said the exact same thing. So I was, I almost told her that, you know, what I mean, I got a record or whatever. She said, "Where's your license out of?" I was like, "Georgia." Said, "Well, I'm gonna do a Georgia, Georgia search. If I don't see nothing, then you just put no for that answer." I oh. I was like, "Oh." Okay. <laughs> you know what? So you you know what? It, and that's how some of these now some of these recruiters is is you know is pretty cool. I mean, if you get a if you get right. a if you get a repertoire with them and all like that, you know, and they like you and they really want to get you in with their company, they can do that regardless yeah. of what's your or what's on your DAC report or PSP. Right. So, so basically, she was like, "You said how long has it been since you've been in trouble?" I said, well, it's been over 10 years. Right. He said, well, I'm not worried about it. That's basically what the conversation is. I'm not worried about that. As long as you ain't been in trouble in the last seven years, 10 years, he said, I'm not worried about it. So I was like, well, okay then. So that's how I got to Martin, and I've been to Martin the past three years. I've been here ever since. Okay, okay. That's what's up, man. That's what's up. Well, congratulations for being out with Martin. So are you, uh, but yeah. you're, you're leasing though, right? No, no, that, that's what Stevens I was leaving. Oh, that's okay. Uh, and, oh, that's where your TB, T, TBE came into play. Yeah, that's where it came in. Oh. But I ended up, I was an owner-operator last year, but my truck broke down on me, and I never got it fixed. And the thing I like about Martin is you can, you can be an owner-operator or a company driver. If your truck is no longer working, they'll just put you back as a regular driver employee you know what i mean mm -hmm. then once you get your truck running back right you can go back as the owner operator so until i'm until i man up and get my own authority and get my money right right now i'm working on getting my credit getting some business credit getting my stuff right then i'll be ready to move on get my own authority hopefully that'll be next year okay that's what's up man that's what's up so the whole so the so the whole outlook for you in this trucking game, man, is 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 what just to yeah. be a fleet owner or well, owner I'm, operator or what? What's the yeah? I, I, I don't I don't believe in jumping from job to job. Like even when I worked before, uh, right after I stopped uh, um, hustling, like I stayed with that company literally. So they literally forced me out. You know what I mean? Mm -hmm. Stayed at one place five years. Stayed at another place for five years. And that's just how I am. Like, I'm not going to jump around. Like, and that's how I've been since I got in trucking. Like, I'm not, even though I've had better offers than, than uh, Martin, I'm not jumping around from company to company. Like, I just don't do that. Okay. Okay. That's what's up. That's what's up, man. All right. That's that's what's up, man. Hey, so check it out, man. I, I got a topic for you right quick. So check this out. Um a young lady on YouTube uh, did a video about getting in a relationship, right? She got into a relationship. Right. You know, she got into a relationship and she killed all of her male friends. You know, she don't she don't call them. She don't let them call her. She dropped the phone number. She, you know, she don't call, you know, she lo lose their numbers and all like that. My question, right. the, you know, it's set up for another YouTuber to do the vid, uh, to do uh, to do a video, and the question was asked, and I and I and I change it up. Would you be cool with your significant other? It could be, you know, female. Uh, it could be, you know, female wifey, uh, uh, girlfriend, or whatever. But would you be cool? with your significant other having friendship with the opposite sex no no we don't we don't do that mm. i've been married 16 years mm -hmm. and I, we, we don't we don't do that like you don't you don't want to go there mm. like i like i've told my wife i said i chose to be with you i could have been with anybody i wanted to i chose to be with you mm -hmm. but one thing i'm not i'm not a choice you either gonna be with me, you're not gonna be with me. 
but you're not going to be on the fence uh, friending this dude over here or claiming to be my girl over here. I don't do that. That's just the law I laid down. Okay. See, I am. Okay. You now, know what I mean? So now even this, though this I'm is, not. This is sounding like. This is sounding like the after, like you know, like afterwards. But what about? But what about before? Like I mean, she had male friends before. You know what I'm saying? I'm not worried about you. The whole point is, out of respect, mm -hmm. she's supposed to cut them off mm -hmm. when you all become serious. Okay. 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 You know what I'm saying? What I'm saying. So therefore, there's no gray lines because you don't feel like you're answering some bullshit that some man is putting in her head. You know okay. what I mean? You got to know where your arguments are coming from. Is this you arguing with me? Right. Or is this some shit some nigga that said to you? And that's right. why we're sitting here arguing. You know what I mean? Right. Like, that shit has to be cut off. Like, you can be friends from a distance. You can say, oh, happy birthday on Facebook, all that. But there's no more hour-long phone calls. None of that shit no more. None of that. None of that. You start that shit, I'm done. I'm done with it. I can't do it. Okay, okay, that's what's up. All right, so what about? Because you so, got you got realize, even though even though I'm not hustling no more, the women that I used to fool around with still remember me as that dude. So I I will always have somebody else. You know what I mean? Mm -hmm. Like there's never I don't have to run around simping for no woman. You know what I mean? I explained this to my wife. I said I'm marrying you because I'm choosing you. Mm -hmm. But at any time you get out of pocket, you know I will I will drop you like a hot log and move on to somebody else. <laughs> like I don't I don't I don't play that shit, bro. Like, I really don't play. It. Like I'm giving up this whole. You know what I mean? I'm changing my life to be with you. You know what I mean? You're not sure whether or not you want to be with me. Oh, I ain't got no problem. Big, big Chris could be with anybody, bro. Oh, okay. I ain't got no problem pulling something else. That's what's up, oh, bro. bro. That, that's that's the problem with a lot of men. A lot of men feel like the woman they got is the only woman they're gonna have. Mm. You know what I mean? They're not willing to cut her off. Once you, I have so much respect for my wife because she knows that that string is short, and I do not play. I do not play, man. I don't play. And that's how man. you get respect from a woman. Okay. You got to lay the law down on her, bro. Okay, that's what's up. That's what's up. All right, so of course you're married. Uh, you say you've been uh, married for 16 years and all like that, man. But you, yeah. let's just say you, you know, you wasn't a truck driver. Let's say you're, let's say you was in, uh, let's say you, 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 you're in my field. You, you, you in my field. You know, we, you know, you're a oh, public interviewing you're, people. Yeah, you're, you're, you're a public yeah. figure and all like that. You interview a lot of women, which I do. Uh, interview a lot of right. women and all like that, and you get conversations from DMs, telephone calls, uh, emails, and oh. all like that. And in the oh. position of that, right? Are you, you think your right. you, you think your your wife would be cool with you doing that, right? Your your wife would be cool with no, you doing no. that. No, she not. She not gonna be cool with that. But. No, uh, wait, 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 wait. I haven't came to the uh, outside part yet. Uh, that, that that was just because you know when you talk to you know when you talk to a lot of women. Now on the flip side of that, right. would your would your woman be cool if you was talking to a female cordially, like, hey, how you doing? How's the family? No, uh, no. You know, how's no. the dog? How's did, the kids? If, but the woman, the, 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 the female knows of the female knows of your wife, and your wife knows right. of the female. But they don't. They don't matter. My, my wife, my wife don't play that shit, bro. Mm -hmm. she, don't play, <laughs> she don't. She don't play that shit, bro. I would tell you there would be some gang banging going on, bro. There would be some. There would be some drive bys and everything jumping <laughs> yeah. on. My wife do not play that. You say your wife. You say your wife uh, answer the phone like. And the reason why you calling is, <laughs> yep, exactly, exactly. <coughs> and if I inter if I was in your position interviewing females and all that stuff, mm -hmm. she would want to be right there listening to the conversation. Nah, I feel she it. She wouldn't be right there listening to it. I feel it. I feel yep. it. There you go, man. Yep. There you go. And she wouldn't. Yeah, but I don't know if, if I ever get that many subscribers, 
I don't know if I'm going to be able to do those type of interviews. <laughs> keep the peace in my house. I, I don't. I don't think I'm going to be able to do that. I agree, you, man. You done interview some. You done, You done, you done interview some women, boy. I, I don't. I don't know how you do it, boy. <laughs> Yeah, I you know you're better. I, I had I, I had a few you're a better a man few, than me. I had a few guys in my comments, and I had a few people in my emails like, "Yo, bro, why, why are you still single?" Yeah, I'm, like, I, I'm I'm like because I, you know, I I I did shoot I, I did shoot my shot at you know at a couple of them, but right, that shit right. that that shit came back to bite me in the fucking ass. So that's that's why. Oh, yeah, man. that's that's why yeah. that that's why I uh. You know, that's why I just played it back because I figured I figured the females that's 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 like on YouTube or something like that, you know, she's I, looking I, for attention. I, and shit. Yeah, 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 yeah. You know, like yeah. I said, my my name, my name, actually, my name just just came back up out of a uh, out of a female's mouth. And I'm still tripping on the fact that, you know, why? Why is my name living in li living in uh taking up space in your mind you know and i haven't and i haven't talked about you on youtube yeah well she you know she don't talk she don't talk about me it was just that this you know uh they was in a you know they was in a conversation about the topic that we're in right now and she and, and she brought my you know she brought my name back up twice in uh in in that segment and you know i'm sitting here like Yo, you know, I haven't talked to her, haven't had no conversations with her, haven't had no, I, I haven't even thought about her in over a year, uh, in over a good year and a half now. Like, yo, you know. So yeah, you had, uh, you had one lady on there, man, that I don't, I don't really care for too much. Oh, uh, I think she was, on, miles. Take she was on there crying for money toward or something one time. Wichita. And, um. No, I, wait, she wait, got, wait. I think she got, wait, I know you was, hold on, I don't, wait. Uh, Coco? Uh, no, not Coco. The one that was crying, she lost her trucking job, and she was in the car, she had no gas money. She was the light skin bro. She was on there crying and shit. She got like four or five kids, or four or five different niggas. Uh, shit, look at her goddamn thing, uh. I know it was one. I, just saw her. I, I know it was one that came on, and you was very, very adamant in the in the text. I, I think it was a uh, boss lady, Coco. I think. No, yeah, that, that was boss lady. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Boss, yeah I, I boss, didn't. Boss I, I wasn't. I wasn't feeling her whatsoever, bro. I wasn't feeling her. Why not, all, man? Bro. Because she was coming with the real though. I mean, she was. Uh, but I mean, I'm gonna tell you her type. The, the reason real, why bro. she can't get any respect, bro. One, she was pushing the lease program. I didn't have a problem with you pushing the lease program. Mm -hmm. Then she started talking about truckers like she wasn't a trucker, like she was above trucking. You know what I mean? Right. In half a mile. Like you out here making a living trucking just like we are. And you, you gonna talk shit about being a trucker? And she's like, oh, I don't like trucking. Oh, you know how. She just kept making all these comments mm -hmm. that was just rubbing me the wrong way, like she was above us. You know what I mean? Right. And the truckers are below her, and if she's she's so attractive that she can't show her face because she looks so good. <laughs> and get, get the fuck out of here, bitch! Like, oh, what the fuck? Who the fuck you think you is? Well, like I was. What I really, what I really wanted to say, I was trying to respect your show, right. and I didn't really, I didn't say it. I didn't say what I really wanted to say, right. but you don't do that, bro. You don't you don't do that to a trucking podcast talking to other truckers about how you're above trucking and you don't even like trucking, and but you're going to do well, all mean, these incredible was, things. I mean, she was. She, I mean, she was in a truck just like us. She was. I mean, she was. You know, it, it, it's it. It was her. You know, it was her thing. Uh, T. I mean, it was yeah. her. It was you know, she, it was her. It was her thing. It was her vibe. It was you know, it was all about you know. It she was, was very con. It was it was very condescending. That that's the okay. word I was looking for. She was very condescending. The way she talked, the way she came off. I don't even think she realized how she came off. You know what I mean? So I really wasn't feeling that. But as far as her knowledge, she sounded like she knew what she was talking about. 
Mm-hmm. So, but it's not about what you say. Sometimes it's your delivery. Okay, your delivery. You know what I mean? I got you, I got her you. her delivery was fucked up. Okay. Yeah. All right, that's what's up, man. That's what's up. TBE, where you hell out of, man? I'm out of Maryland, man, right, right across the bridge from Baltimore, but I live in Delaware. It's all still in the same area in the Eastern Shore. All right, so you up in the uh, you you up in the uh, you you up in the Northeast, man. I can't fuck with the Northeast, bro. Yeah, you yep. was you born? I gotta in, come across. Uh, was you born and raised huh? in Baltimore, or was you born and raised in Delaware? Yeah, I was born. In, I was born and raised in Maryland. Oh, okay. What was it? Uh, what was it like? Uh, is it? Is it? Is is the wire a good portrayal of Baltimore? Yeah, I didn't really fuck around in Baltimore. I, I probably wouldn't be alive if I did. Like Baltimore is only for if you have a crew. Mm-hmm. See, I wasn't a crew person. I was a loner. So I had to go I had to be somewhere where I could hustle myself and I have to worry about always having a crew around me. You okay. know what I mean? Okay. So on the other side of the bridge, the small towns of Salisbury Cambridge, Cambridge, Maryland is where Jay Z used to uh, hustle at and shit. Okay. Um, East and shit like that. Like those were the small towns where you could do your own thing on your own. You didn't have to have a crew. Okay, that's what's up, man. That's what's up. Well, where you at right now, my brother? I am coming through South Carolina right now. I'm on my way home, but I got to drop and. Uh, you know that Walmart in Henderson, North Carolina? Mm-hmm. Y'all do any drops out there, so yeah, I got a drop and hook there. Then they don't want me driving from North Carolina home. We get into this shit every two weeks when I go home. <laughs> I sell for two weeks and I go home. But uh, they're going to give me another load from North Carolina to Virginia, and then I'll drive from Virginia home after that. Okay, that's what's up, man. That's what's up. Well, TBE, man, thank you for coming on, man, chopping it up with me and all like that. You know, I appreciate uh, appreciate the comment. Yeah, I ain't no problem. But tell them, but tell them. Oh, the money, bro. Oh, that that's not a good look. I didn't hear. I, I didn't, I didn't, I didn't hear you. You cut out. Hey, hey, you you cut out. Tell them what now. Tell them stop coming on your program crying for money. They know <laughs> who I'm talking to. <laughs> Oh, oh, stop, stop choosing you stop s- choosing all these sorry ass niggas. Stop having kids by these sorry ass niggas and you won't have to be on YouTube crying for money. Well what do you feel about what lot, well, lot, wait a minute, hold on now. She's she's not the I a, think I got an idea. A lot of it, I, I, I think I got an a idea. A lot of it. Wait a minute, T B T T T B E. Hold on. <laughs> a lot of, she's right. not she's one of them. There's a lot of motherfuckers on YouTube that comes on the eBay, man. What, what's your? Th- you, I, I hear your thoughts about her, but what about what about your thoughts on the other cats that's doing it, man? And, and they, and and from you know they they coming they coming in and 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 saying that it's not eBaying, it's support. What what do you say about that one, man? Oh man, you're looking for for one the type of dude. Who would give a woman money for doing that? He's a simp. He's a nigga that would pay twenty dollars just to look at her feet. Those type of dudes. That's who. That's who she begging and crying for money from. Cause you know, motherfuckers like me are gonna be like, "Well, why are you in that situation? Uh, where's your baby dad at? You know what I mean? Like, what the hell's going on? Why are you having kids and you ain't got no motherfucking money? You know what I mean?" That, She's not, she's not looking for attention from niggas like me that are going to hold her accountable. She wants the niggas that think because she's, she's a fair skin and she's kind of cute. But to me, she's more like a five, but she just happens to be light skinned. But she, she's just preying on sense. Niggas that are desperate. Niggas that are desperate for attention. Niggas that are desperate trying to get her attention. But she don't realize that a lot of those men, those men are, are the same as the men that she had the kids by. They just want a piece of ass from her. That's all they want. So, you know what I mean? That you can't have no respect for women that do that type shit. Like, you need to cut that shit out. If you're going to be a trucker, you're going to be out here getting it. Get out here and get it. And stop crying and making excuses why you can't but, do something. 
but again, okay, you, but you, you didn't answer you, in you, every situation that you're in. You you didn't uh -huh. answer you didn't answer the question, my G. What about the other mother? And it, and it's not just females; it is dudes too. What about the other mug? What about the other mugs that that be that be on YouTube e begging, bro? But I don't I don't give money. Listen to me. If you're giving me knowledge and entertainment, you know what I'm saying? Like Lo Sean. You go on Lo Sean's channel, he's dropping free trucker knowledge. Okay. I'm giving him like maybe a hundred dollars a week just for dropping knowledge. Mm. You know what I mean? I need that. That's something I will pay for. That's knowledge. That's beneficial to me. It's beneficial to my family. You know what I mean? Your funny, built, light-skinned ass is not benefiting me and my family. So I'm not giving you no money. Okay. You know what I'm saying, dude? You're trying to grow a show. You know what I mean? A YouTube show. Mm -hmm. I'll drop money on you every once in a while. I, I want to see it. you grow. I want to see you become big. You understand what I'm saying? Mm -hmm. But if you was in that chair bent over with your ass out, <laughs> but nobody's watching that. You know what I mean? It comes a time where you got to draw the line on this bullshit. TBE coming with the real and the rawness right now. <laughs> I'm just telling. I'm just telling you what what niggas are thinking, but they're scared to say it. I don't give a fuck. I've been married 16 years. I got a wife. I got kids. I don't give a fuck what a female think of me no more, bro. You know what I mean? What you say when you when you uh ball and chain? I don't want my life is over any fucking way. I don't give a fuck. <laughs> so I, I say what comes to my, I, I say what niggas are thinking, and that's exactly what they're thinking when they see you come on there crying and begging for fucking money. And All right, so ass what, niggas who think. So what hmm. about? So what about? Okay, okay, that that's just one. That's just one. But what do you think about the other females that just coming on? You know, seeking attention. And I don't want to, you know, no shots fired to nobody that's doing that, that's building their channel. It's all. No, no, it's ain't all no shots fired. You what know it, why? Yeah. But what about for the females that come out there, you know, showing a little bit more I skin keep than usual? You, it's a, it's a simp nigga problem. It's not a real nigga problem. Mm. Those girls belong to the simp. Mm. I'm not a simp. I'm, I don't fall for that shit. Like, I watched a young girl, uh, Coco, whatever. She know these niggas are begging to sleep with her. Mm. So what does she do? She teases the fuck out of them. You know what I mean? That's their fault they fall for that. They fall for that dumb shit. That is their fault, bro. Like, I, I don't feel sorry for y'all. If y'all don't sit that girl for money, that girl don't give two hoops about y'all. She ain't gonna sleep with neither one of y'all niggas. They probably laid up in bed with... Her nigga laughing, looking at her fucking bank account, and watching you niggas beg her and send her money all the time. Mm. She's just, she just using niggas, but it, she's got the gifts to be able to do that. You know what I mean? Who the fuck don't want to look at a young girl built right? Okay. A young fit young a fit young girl. Now look at that. Hey, I you know, hey, I'm I'm you know I'm I'm in my fifties, so I, of course I'm gonna watch it. <laughs> uh, of course I'm gonna watch it. You know, I might not be paying attention. Yeah. I might be pay, I might not be paying attention to what the fuck you be saying, but I'm definitely watching you. You know what I'm saying? Yeah, you, you, you know, gotta you watch. There, you know, you shaking you shaking what that I'm, ass. I'm 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 definitely gonna watch. I'm not gonna send you no money. You know what I'm saying? I'm, I'm not going to send you That's no money. That's my point. What makes what makes men what makes men do that? These girls are not going to give you. That's, that's ass, what bro. they do. Like, that's why are they, you? The men, you, you know, the men that the sends the, the men that sends the money wants to show support. They want to they they want to support their channel. They want to support the young lady. Make sure that she's make sure that she's all right. But see, the thing is. You ain't gonna never see her. She's not gonna do nothing for you. Like she's that's not gonna point. do. That's why I, I mean, you know, you sending money like I, I talked to one female that some dude sent her a thousand dollars. Like I said, oh, uh, damn. I said, wait a minute. I says, uh, I said, is that for real? She was like, yeah, dude sent me a thousand dollars. I was like, so is you supposed to do something for that? 
or is he inspecting? Nope, do shit, right? Is he? But he's. You gotta know he's inspecting something. He's he's inspecting the return. Yeah, he's inspecting. And guess what? If he ever sees her at a truck stop, you better believe he's gonna say something to her. Mm -hmm. You better, and that's the trouble they run into is that motherfucker give you a thousand dollars when he see you. Oh, he gonna be expecting something, and that's where you can get in trouble at. Be like, yo, you that gotta was, watch that shit too. Be like, yo, it's that's, some crazy motherfuckers out here. Be like, yo, uh, that that was me, uh, uh, trucker such and such. Yeah. Oh, hey, trucker, so thank yeah. you. Yeah, you know, you remember that thousand dollars I gave you? Yeah. yeah. Oh, okay. Is it all right that I take you <laughs> out? Exactly. To, is it all right that I take you out to dinner or something like that? Oh, well, you know, I I'm a little bit busy. Really? Don't go to sleep tonight. <laughs> exactly. You better exactly. sleep with one. You like, better. Sleep. You put you yourself in a bad situation. Yeah, you better sleep with one eye open, dudes, man. You better sleep with one eye open. I'm telling you, I, I was locked. I was locked up with some crazy. I, I slept <laughs> next to a dude for two years, mm -hmm. and I was in prison. That had killed his wife and hey. slept with the body. Hey, what? Did you no, understand wait, what wait, I just wait, said? Wait, 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 wait. He slept with the body. He. You say he slept with he the murked, body, or he 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 killed he killed his wife, and then he dressed her. her up, and he and he slept next to her. Oh, he slept for over next two to weeks her. until she. Oh, okay. Until she started to decay. Oh, okay. He I slept thought, next to her. Oh, he slept next to her. Okay, and I thought you. And would if say you that seen this dude, her. no. If you seen this dude, you would think he was the nicest person on the world. He was the nicest dude that you ever met in your life. Man, and he of, was the craziest man, motherfucker about, ever man, walked the face of this earth. Man, think about this, my G. The nice ones is always the craziest. You seen yeah. you see you see how, how quick that dude turned on uh on uh Diamond on the players club. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> yeah, that's the what them, that's what happens to some of them female <laughs> them female truck drivers that keep fucking with these dudes. They keep fucking with them. Yeah, it's the nice ones they keep that. With it's, them. it's the nice ones that's uh that's crazy, bro. Shit. Yep. You know. I know. I know. Some of them seem mean, but I got more respect for the females that just ignore everybody and just go on about their business. Okay. I got more respect for them than the ones always seeking this dumbass attention. Because one day you're gonna get what you're looking for. You keep it up. Ooh. You're better off minding your business at these trucks stop staying to yourself. Running around, trying to look cute. I seen one girl, I can't think of her name. She was filming a video while she was uh, rolling her uh, tandems down for her fucking uh, trailer. Mm -hmm. So she had her she had her skin tight bikers on, all uh, whatever the fuck they're called, some girls they weren't. All up in her ass crack. She made sure that the pants were all up in her ass crack when she was filming the video. So I'm just sitting there looking at me and the dude next to us. We start beeping the horn at her. Mm -hmm. She passed my mind. She looked around. She waved and kept on filming the video. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. I'm like, man, this shit is crazy, bro. Crazy. All right, man. Well, I'm here at my spot, man. I appreciate the convo, man. Uh, definitely, no problem, definitely bro. the real and the rawness from uh from my man TBE that hails out of Baltimore, Maryland, or Maryland. I don't yeah. know if it's actually Baltimore, but you know what I'm saying. But uh, my G man, you take it easy. I'm about to get on up out of here, and I'll talk to you later, man. You stay safe. All right, bro. No problem. Whenever you want me on, just let me know, bro. For sure, for sure, man. All right then.